Good afternoon, guys. Watch Woman 65. Lisa Boyce here. I have another story from uh, Bloomberg. It's talking about millions of Chinese firms face collapse if banks don't act fast. And it says here, um, Brigetta, Brigitta, a director of one of China's largest car dealers, is running out of options. Um... Her firm's 100 outlets have been closed for about a month because of the coronavirus. Cash reserves are dwindling and banks are reluctant to extend deadlines of billions of yuan in debt coming due over the next few months. It's beginning. And it starts. There are other, also other creditors to think about. It says here, if we can't pay back the bonds, it will be very, very bad. Said Brigida, whose company has 10,000 employees and sells mid to high end car brands such as BMWs. She asked that her only her first name be used and that her firm not be identified because she isn't authorized to speak to the press. Well, of course not. With much of China's economy still idle as authorities try to contain an epidemic that has infected more than 75,000 people, I'm thinking more people, millions of companies across the country are in a rate. That's an earthquake, by the way. Not getting off the subject, but I've the earthquakes... Turkey has had earth, a 6.0 earthquake about an hour or so ago. Now they're having aftershocks. So, but I'm going to go back to this right now. Um, I'll go back. I'll bring you up to date on something with that later. With um, much of China's economy still idle, as authorities try to contain an epidemic that has infected more than 75,000 people or more. Sorry about that. I know people don't like those alerts, but if I turn that off, I'll forget to turn it back on. So I'm sorry that it comes up like this. Um, it says millions of companies across the country are in a race against the clock to stay afloat. So like I said, the financial collapse is starting. A survey of uh, small and medium-sized Chinese companies conducted this month showed that a third of, of respondents only had enough cash to cover fixed expenses for a month, with other third running out within two months. While China's government has cut interest rates, ordered banks to boost lending, and loosened criteria for companies to restart operations, Many of the nation's private businesses say they've been unable to assess the funding they need to meet upcoming deadlines for debt and salary payments. Without more financial support or a sudden rebound in China's economy, some may have to shut down for good. I'm telling you people, this, this thing is no joke. This, there's no way that this virus with 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 cities on lockdown this is going to affect the economy in a bad way and it's only going to get worse i'm not meaning to give people fear but this is our this is what we we're looking at for our ticket up there to get raptured out the things that are happening are happening and being set up for the tribulation period meaning that our time here is short. And personally, I don't think we have much, I don't think we have any time. But that's just me. If China fails to contain the virus in the first quarter, I expect a vast number of small businesses would go under. This report just came out today. Said Liv Cheng, uh, Chengshan, an analyst at Beijing Management Consulting Company. Despite accounting for 60% of the economy and 80% of jobs in China, private businesses have long struggled to tap funding to help them extend during booms and survive crisis. 
excuse me. Support from China's banking giants in response to the outbreak has so far uh, been um, not good. I'm going to leave the uh, article in the description box. In an email response to questions from Bloomberg News, ICBC said it, it allocated 5.4 billion yen, that's $770 million, to help companies fight the virus. We approved qualified small business loan applications as soon as they arrive, the bank said. As a group, Chinese banks have offered about 254 billion yen in, lo in loans related to the containment effort as of uh, February 9th. According to the Banking Industry Association with foreign uh, lenders such as Citigroup, also lowering rates, to put in perspective, China's small businesses typically face interest payments on about 36.9% trillion yen of loans every quarter. So, I don't know what that is in American money, but it says uh, stringent, um, stringent requirements and shortlist restrict who can access special loans earmarked by the central bank for virus-related businesses, while local government and banks have imposed caps on the amounts according to people familiar with the matter. A debt banker, a debt banker at one of China's largest uh, brokerages said his firm opened a fast lane to ease debt sales by businesses involved in the containment effort with borrowers required to prove they will use at least 10% of the proceeds to fight the disease. That's of little help to a car dealership. This is what's happening. This is exactly what's happening. It says that um, banks are hardly any better off themselves. Many are undercapitalized and on the ropes after two years of record debt defaults. Rating firm S&P Global has estimated that a prolonged emergency could cause the banking system's bad loan ratio to more than triple to about 6.3%, amounting to an increase of 5.6 trillion yen. So there you go, folks. I'm going to leave the article to this in the description box. I told you yesterday it was going to happen. Just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. So, I will be back on. Thank you.